I'd like to know what triggered this young man to join the Jesuits. Talk a little bit about his family, their faith, their practice. And did he have other thoughts of, I don't know, becoming a businessman, uh, becoming an academic? So also talk a little bit about his intellectual formation, the sure. things that as a young man he really cared about, and what did he teach when he was teaching uh, young people? Those are people? excellent questions, uh, and difficult ones too. Please don't. Don't do this. Uh, uh, now, it, uh, it happens that his, he's from, he was from a very, very religious family. Uh, in particular, his, um, his mother and his grandmother were very, very religious. His mother was against him entering the priesthood, though. She wanted him to finish um, uh, the university. And uh, she was quite upset with him, actually, for a period of time uh, that he decided to do so. He was, um, he was young when he did. I think it was about 15 or so when he felt a spiritual epiphany. And I think 18 when he decided he wanted to, um, uh, to pursue the to enter the priesthood. Um, uh, so he didn't have a whole lot of time um, prior to that to develop any other sort of ambitions. He liked um, soccer, football, they say there. Uh, he was terrible at it, but he was enthusiastic. Um, he, uh, he loved reading. His, his grandmother um, introduced him to opera as well as to Italian literature. And, uh, and, um, and it was also sort of through that that I think he became much more intellectually inclined. When he, um, when he began going to school, I interviewed uh, one of his early mentors, one of his professors who's known him for boy, 60 years, something like that, and, and uh, um, uh, this man who's still you know, very, very robust, uh, uh, um, uh, Juan Carlos Scannone, uh, had said that uh, he was a, a very good student. He was not my best student, though, and, and, uh, and so he was not uh, one of these ones in which you saw you know, destiny, um, but uh, what he did see was um, uh, a, uh, a, a scholarly desire coupled with a real affinity um, for people. And it was that combination, I think, that uh, that made it kind of a, you know, a manifest destiny, um, uh, whether he himself was aware of it or not. Hi guys, thanks for watching this Politics and Prose Events Essential. We are a bookstore, so if you're interested in checking out the books featured in this video, click here to buy it from our website. If you want to watch more highlights from our other spectacular events, click here. To watch the full version of this author's talk, click here. Or to stay up to date on all of our events, follow our social media accounts by clicking these guys down here. And don't forget to check out our whole channel and subscribe to our other videos. Do that by clicking on the Politics and Prose logo up here in this corner. Right here. Click. Thank you. So nice. So nice. You guys are the greatest. So great.